guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. Thanks for coming by to hang out. If you happen to be new, hello, my name's Dana, and here on this channel we do all things beauty, from hauls, tutorials, reviews, all that good stuff. So if you guys would like to join the family, be sure to hit that red subscribe button, I would really appreciate it. Today's video is actually going to be my perfume collection. I've gotten several questions about this video. To be honest, I don't have too many perfumes, and that's because I'm pretty picky and have issues with like committing to one scent. There's really only three or four scents that I constantly go back to. I'm always willing to try new perfumes, but I almost always either buy like roller balls or just smaller sizes just because like I said, I just kind of go in and out of fragrances. There's only like three standards that I constantly stick to. So if you're expecting like this huge ginormous perfume collection, you're gonna be disappointed. But personally, I'm happy with mine. I actually have all of my perfumes in this glass oh, tray that I got from Target. I got this on clearance for like $8.99, $9.99, something like that. If you guys follow me on Snapchat, I'm pretty sure I told you guys all about it like months ago, but it's from Target. If I can still find it on the site, I will link it down below. I did want to give you guys a heads up that this video is sponsored by my friends over at Scentbird. If you've been with me for a while, then you know I've been a huge fan of Scentbird for I think going on two years now. If you've never heard of Scentbird before and you're looking to expand your perfume collection or just really kind of dibble and dabble into new scents, you are going to love it. So if you go to scentbird.com, the website layout is super, super easy to navigate. First off, you start off with a quiz kind of targeting what your like go-to scent is going to be. So it'll be like, okay, do you like warm scents, sultry scents, sexy scents, clean, crisp, cool scents. And then you go in and type in some of your like favorite go-to perfumes. And from that, they'll give you like a category of fragrances that they think would be great for you. It's $14.95 a month, free shipping. You can cancel anytime. The whole idea of the brand is that you can date a fragrance fragrance before or even instead of marrying it, honestly, which I personally love. They're about 0.27 ounces, so basically the same size as a rollerball, maybe a little bit under. I'm pretty sure on the site they say that one of these vials will last you 30 days. I'm guessing if that's if you were to use it every single day, but throughout time I have accumulated several scent per vials, so these last me a lot more than 30 days. I love it though because on the site there's over 450 different fragrances to choose from. Inside you get these super cute little perfume holders. It actually comes in this little velvet black pouch right here. I don't really hold on to that. I just use this. It's perfect travel friendly. I know it's TSA approved, so I just keep this in my purse. And so every month, whenever you decide to like get a new fragrance, they send you a new perfume. And I love this because it's a spray. Don't get me wrong, roller balls are okay, but sometimes I like to spray perfumes like in my hair, on my clothes. And for that, a spray bottle is definitely more practical. So I'm going to go through and show you guys the scents that I have right now. And if you guys are interested, I do have a coupon code. It's Dana and 25 and that'll give you 25% off your first order. So what I like about this is if you happen to get a scent and you don't like it, you're not stuck with the full bottle. And one thing I do want to mention is that I am not a pro when it comes to describing scents. I feel like I'm like, oh, it's like a warm, sultry evening scent or it's like a summertime fragrance. Luckily, brands do that for me, so I'll go ahead and lay out the notes right here. Honestly, notes to me sometimes aren't that helpful because it'll be like the fresh morning mist on a like virgin cara cara orange under the tuscan sun i'm like did you mean citrus like why do we need all these like fancy insane descriptions when you could just be like citrus fruit floral so i think that's going to be how i describe most things so first up in this gold one i have gucci premiere i know so many people swear by gucci guilty that one just does not work with my body chemistry however i love this one i would definitely describe it as more of an evening scent something that's definitely like appropriate for year round but it's not a scent that I would really go for in the morning and during the daytime. I like something more like bright and happy in the morning, but I do really like this. It's more of like, not masculine, but more of like a sensual type of warm masculine type of smell, if that makes sense. Like I said, refer to the notes. That's probably more helpful. Next up in this blue vial, I have Armani Code. I bought this one because one of the moms at Landon's Taekwondo, I believe she's from... I think she told me Morocco. She's always wearing like the most amazing scents ever. Like, oh, this is another scent that smells amazing on everyone else. It's like Chanel Black and Chanel Coco Mademoiselle. I can spot that fragrance like a mile away and it smells incredible on everyone. I sprayed on myself and it just smells very powdery and just, I don't know, it doesn't smell good on me. But she was wearing this one day. It smelled incredible on her. And I'm happy to report that this one actually does smell nice on me as well. This is a scent that I feel like is more daytime appropriate. It's like, it's very feminine, but it's just more of like a bright, happy smell, if that makes sense. Oh, wow. 
Okay, moving on, there's another, there's this blue, but then you have this kind of like slate blue one. I don't even remember what was in this one, and that's why. This is actually one that I wasn't too happy with. This is, is it Malin, Maline, and Goitz, Goats? Ooh, I'm not sure. I just do not like this one, like at all. I've been saving this to spray like in the bathroom, like in the guest bathroom. Oh, how are you scared me? You can't come in right now, but in a little bit. In the guest bathroom and on the towels, just because like it smells okay, but for some reason, I just don't think that that smells like a normal like body fragrance. It smells more like a home fragrance in my opinion. Like I said, if that's a fragrance that you personally use, do not be offended. I'm sure it smells amazing on you. It just did not work with my body chemistry. Okay, next up in the red one, we have Estee Lauder Modern Muse Le Rouge. I'm not gonna lie, the first time that I sprayed this, I was a little bit disappointed, but it's kind of grown on me a bit. It's still not one of my absolute favorites, but it's like, I still like it. So those two out of everything are probably the two that I just wasn't that excited about, but everything else I love. Okay, I think my two favorite colors from Scentbird, they have these really pretty pearly white ones and then the hot pink one. In the hot pink one, I have Commodity Gold. This is one that I just chose. I don't remember who I heard talking about these fragrances. I'm pretty sure this is the one where they have scents like cashmere, um, woods, cotton, things like that. This is a super warm vanilla, slightly tobacco smelling type of perfume. I know. When you think, I don't even know if tobacco's in the notes, if Scentbird's watching this, they're probably gonna be like, uh, what, tobacco? I don't mean like tobacco, like cigarettes, but you know how sometimes you kind of have that like, if you have like a warm tobacco candle, it kind of just has that like spicy scent. That's what this smells like. It's like warm vanilla sugar, but then like kind of spicy at the same time. I really, really like it. The only thing is, this is one that I always keep in my purse when I wear it because you have to touch up pretty often. I noticed that this one isn't the longest wearing, but I really, really like the scent. Okay, the final two I have here, this is, I'm not sure how to pronounce this brand. Is it Toka or Toka? I've wanted this fragrance for so long. Like any time that I've gone to like anthropology or something, I've sprayed it, but I'm like, do I really wanna buy the whole bottle? This is the lavender one, it's called Colette. This is the most like feminine, girly perfume ever. I'm not even sure of what the notes are, but it's so good. Anytime that I wear this, I do get compliments too, but I guess maybe I don't think it lasts quite as long because I need to really like strong scents like Flower Bomb and Stella. Those ones really tend to linger. And I notice that sometimes these like fruity, floral, like lighter scents, they just don't hang on quite as long, at least on me. But either way, I love it. This one is so, so good. Howard is being sassy today. The very final one I have is from Valentino and this is the Valentina aqua basically it's saying floral valentina i love this scent this is so good in fact one of keegan's friend's wives told me that this was her wedding scent and i smelled it at her house and i loved it it's so so good normally i don't gravitate to too many floral scents but i really do love this one another one that's so good that i actually bought the full size of because of scentbird is ysl black opium let me tell you a sad story i was spraying that one day and i put it on the countertop and i was like going ham with my dry shampoo i knocked the bottle over and it shattered I was really sad. That's like a weird bottle to break too, but somehow I managed to do so. But like I said, if you guys are interested in checking out any of the scents from Scentbird, I do have a coupon code. I'll have all of these ones. If I can, I'm sure most of those are still available. I'll go ahead and link them down below, but it's a great way, like I said, to kind of date some new fragrances. Okay, moving on, I'm gonna go ahead and start with like my smaller roller balls and whatnot first. Not all of my roller balls because I do have a lot, but these are ones that I keep right here in this tray and then a couple of smaller scents. This was actually a free gift from Victoria's Secret and I normally don't like too many of the Victoria's Secret perfumes, but I love this one. This is another one that I would describe as like really girly and bright. It's the Oh So Sexy. These are from Elizabeth and James. It's the Nirvana Black and the Nirvana White. I actually prefer the black and I can wear the black on its own. I never wear the white on its own. It's like too much of a gardenia scent and I just don't like how that works with my body. But if I wear it mixed with the black, then I love it. A great tip though is if you don't want to buy the full-size bottles, these roller balls, 
This is a set, like I mentioned earlier, like Stella and Flower Bomb that really lingers for a while, so you really only need the tiniest bit. And if you're wanting to try both, I believe this set is at like $25. You can get this, and then this was a little bit pricier than this. I want to say this was in the $30 range, but this is the Nirvana Black Perfume Oil. It's going to last you forever because it's super concentrated since it's an oil. So I will apply this to like my wrists, on the inside of my elbows, and my neck, and then rub this on top. The scent lasts forever. Like I can shower and I swear I still smell the Nirvana Black Lingering. So if you're not wanting to get the full size bottles but you love the scent, I recommend doing this combo because I'm pretty sure you could get all three of these for under the price of one or maybe the price of one of the larger bottles. I'm not quite sure. I forget how much the full size is. I do wanna try, I know they have like the Nirvana, it's in like that red or maroon bottle now. I haven't even smelled that one yet but I really want to. But Love those scents. Moving on to the roller balls, you guys can make fun of me all you want, but some of my favorite scents are like the celebrity inspired or like celebrity made scents. Like whenever Justin Bieber boyfriend came out, I am not really a Biebs fan. I know you can crucify me. I know some people are like gung ho about, why did that come out weird? Gung ho about Justin Bieber. I'm just not, I don't know. He's just not really my thing, but I will say that boyfriend was a boyfriend, right? That smelled so good. And then this one, Taylor Swift Wonderstruck. I went through two full bottles of this perfume and then I still have this roller ball left. I love this scent. Like I said, I'm not even going to try to describe it, but if you like vanilla, sugary, fruity scents, you'll love this one. It's so good. Another one of my all-time favorite perfumes ever, I'm actually out of it and I need to go to Target and buy a new bottle or Kohl's, is Britney Spears Fantasy. And what's funny is my friend Laura actually wears that scent too. Anytime I wear that scent, I'll get so many compliments and it's kind of awkward to be like, you know, I think people will expect you to say something like really fancy just because they're like, what is that? And I'm like, ah, Britney Spears. Like, it's just so good. It's the one in the pink bottle. And I think the little crystals on it are like blue or green. Oh, it's so good. I love it. Okay, and then I have this one from Pacifica. This is the Sugared Amber Dreams. This is so cute because there's unicorns on it. I actually haven't used this one in a while, but another type of, if you like, like amber, warm, sugary goodness, you'll love this. Those are the scents that I gravitate towards. Either something really cool, like clean and crisp, like Dolce Gabbana Light Blue. As I mentioned in the very beginning of the video, I have like three scents that I always go back to. Dolce Gabbana Light Blue is one of them. I love that in the spring and summer. So I either like scents like that or something really warm, like that has like sandalwood, musk, sugar, um, vanilla, those kind of smells, I live for them. Okay, and then this is Versace Yellow Diamond. I actually have this ginormous bottle that I'm almost done with as well. I really like this. When I first smelled it in the bottle, I wasn't sure. I actually got it as a gift from Keegan and Landon. I was like, uh, it's okay. But then once I started wearing it, I fell in love. It's so good. This is a scent that lasts forever as well. It's definitely more of like not mature mature but it's not something that i would see like a 13 14 15 year old girl wearing like britney spears fantasy but it's so good i love it and that's another one that just lasts for days another favorite from versace this is versace bright crystal i also love oh i'm actually missing one um i have the scent bird i think it's the bright crystal absolute that one's in my purse right now both of these smell amazing it's so so good i love it I think the name is perfect too. It's like a bright, happy, just pretty, pretty scent. This video is probably not helpful. Thank goodness for the notes on the side because you guys are like, well, what is pretty? What is bright? But you know what I mean? I don't know. Like, I guarantee you that's going to be something like grapefruit ballerina something insane. I'm not even sure. Moving on. I have a miniature of Prada candy. I've gone through two full one of these. I know since... Prada Candy originally came out. They now have like Prada Candy Kiss, Prada Candy. I feel like there's three or four different kinds. I love this one. It's so good. I do wish that this was like an actual spray mini. It's one that you have to dab, you know. Oh, I hate myself right now for doing that. But it's another good one. It's like warm and sweet at the same time. Oh, it's so good. I love it. This one probably, oh, what is that? I need a wipe. Oh, I think it's my lipstick. Also, if anyone asks, I know I'll forget later if I don't mention. If you are curious of what's on my lips, it's the Fiona Styles Ultra Suede High Intensity Lip Color in Lennox. Okay, another celebrity scent. This is Jessica Simpson Fancy Love. This is another one that I've gone through two of. Judge me all you want. 
I think another reason I really like this scent is because Keegan loves it. Anytime I wear it, if you are like, who the hell is Keegan? Keegan's my husband. He's always like, what are you wearing? He loves this scent and it just makes me really like this scent. He always tells me I smell good, but whenever I wear this, it's almost like, Hot damn, you smell good. It's almost always this one. Okay, moving on. This is one that I bought during Black Friday a couple years ago, but it doesn't smell bad, so I still have it. And I bought this mainly because I used to wear this scent all the time in high school, and it just brought back some good memories of like being with my best friends and stuff. This is just Juicy Couture, or no, Juicy Couture Viva Le Juicy. There is a Viva Le Juicy that came out, what, like last Christmas or the Christmas before that smells really good as well. I actually had a rollerball of that one that I finished up but I like to spray this more like on my pillows and in this room more so than on my actual body but anytime I smell it, it just makes me so happy and like takes me back to a good time so love this one it's another one of those like warmer type of musky perfumes the bottle is like cute but tacky at the same time. Does that make sense? I don't know, I don't like it. Now, I mentioned these on my favorites and I was saying that I like to wear one during the day and one at night and that they smelled different and they kind of reminded me of the whole Nirvana black and white vibe. But then you guys, or several of you told me that they're the same scent. One's just the toilet and the other one's the perfume but I swear they are different. Like they smell totally different to me. I still gravitate towards this one more but I can wear this during the day and night. I still mix them. I don't know, people keep telling me that they're the same, but I swear they smell different, like they have to be different. I love these scents. If you like Nirvana Black and White, I think you would like these. It kind of has that same type of scent. I would say it's very similar to Nirvana Black, but there's a little bit more, like less masculine type of scents and more like girly, not fruity, but just like floral scents to them. I don't know, I love them. I'm still convinced they're different. You can tell me I'm wrong all day, but. They smell different to me. Okay, and then I tried and true the perfume that I wore on my wedding day. I've probably gone through three or four of these. This is the Victor and Rolf Flower Balm. Um, I actually love Spice Balm on Keegan as well, the cologne. I know that they make a hair perfume in this, which is amazing. And then I think there's a body oil that I kind of want to get just because I love the Nirvana body oil, so I'm sure I would love this body oil. This smells incredible. I don't even know how to describe it besides being sexy. I did get tired of it for a while because before I felt like nobody really wore this. Maybe it's because I didn't have, at the time, there wasn't a Sephora by my house. Oh, cool. And then once Destin built a Sephora, then I felt like I was smelling this everywhere because before, I think I'd purchased this from like Nordstrom or something. Wore it on my wedding, wore it all the time. I didn't really smell it around and then all of a sudden everyone and their mother and their cats were wearing this and it made me really sad so I put it down for a while. But I've been wearing it, using it and abusing it again and I love it. It's such a good scent. I know you can get this one on Scentbird as well if you wanted to try it out first. Okay, and then probably one of the newest perfumes into my collection. This is the Gucci Bamboo. Keegan and Lena got me this for Mother's Day this year. This is one of those like crisp, cool, clean smells. I love the bottle. It's such a good perfume. I had smelled this in so many different magazines and I was like tearing the things out and shoving them in my underwear drawer and like in the little closet, towel closet. What do you guys call that? Linen closet, right? But like mine just has all towels, my sheets are somewhere else. But I was shoving those into there as well. I love this scent. It's so good and just, for some reason when I smell this, I envision a woman like, like a tie front blouse, a pencil skirt, and like five inch stilettos carrying like a super pretty like briefcase -y type of purse. Is that weird? But like that's what I envision when I spray this. Like it just smells so, so good. I love it. Okay, and then finally I have C by Chloe. I don't know if it's just the original perfume is called Chloe. I can't remember who used to wear that scent all the time, but it smelled incredible. I went out and I sprayed it on myself and it, it was one of those perfumes that just did not work, which just gave me the depressions because it smelled incredible on her. But I got this one from, I think, Saks when I first moved here. This is the Chloe Fresh, C by Chloe Fresh. But it kind of has, it's like clean, but like rosy at the same time. I'm trying to think of what else this reminds me of. I feel like if you like the Jessica Simpson Fancy Love, you would like this one, but I know earlier I said sometimes like the floral and really like sweet fruity ones don't seem to last as long. This one definitely does linger for a long time. I like to spray this one in my hair just so then I can be like a hair sniffing freak, you know, but it's so good. I like it. All right, you guys, so that is everything in my perfume collection. Once again, I apologize for being 
crappy at describing fragrance notes, but like I said, you know, hopefully the little sidebar helped you out. Um, don't forget to check out scentbird.com. As always, thank you guys so much for watching. If you haven't already, please subscribe. It would make my day, and I will catch you guys in the next one. Bye!